Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I keep hearing a lot of people saying that what happened in Turkey and Syria is punishment from Allah. That's why I keep hearing everywhere. Subhanallah. I mean, is it really punishment from Allah? You know what I mean? So let's let's dissect it, okay? Let's let's talk about it. So a sheikh by the name Bin Baz was asked, okay, he was asked, if an affliction happens to somebody, a Muslim, is that a punishment or is that a trial? Is that a test? So he replied, he said that you have to look at the person. You have to look at the Muslim. If the Muslim is a good Muslim who practices, okay, who does all the halal things and stays away from the haram and is very conscious of Allah and fears Allah, if something bad happened to him, that is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to elevate him, to increase his hasanat, rewards, good deeds. Like the prophets, most of the prophets or all the prophets, you know, they were tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with afflictions, right? So if something bad happens to a good Muslim who is a practicing Muslim, okay, who stays away from the haram, then this becomes a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will reward him for it. He will get hasanat, he will get rewards for this test and Allah is going to elevate him in his status, okay, and Allah is going to give him good deeds, a lot of good deeds. However, the Sheikh also said that, but if the person, if the Muslim is not a practicing Muslim, if he's not a practicing Muslim, doesn't pray Salat, engages in Haram, Zina, drinking alcohol, bad things, you know what I mean? Then this becomes a punishment for him. This becomes a punishment for him this becomes a wake-up call for him. So that way he can go and return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ Okay, so for the bad Muslims who don't practice, okay, who don't practice, then it becomes a musiba for them, a punishment for them. So, we should not generalize and say that, oh, this is a punishment for everybody. No. For the good Muslims who practice, it's a status elevation for them. It's an increase of good deeds and hasanat for them and forgiveness for them. But for other Muslims who don't practice, okay, who, who are not aware of Allah, who engage in haram every single day, then it becomes a punishment for them and a wake-up call for them. But as we all know that a good Muslim, a good believer who is very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anytime something bad happens to him, anytime he is tested with calamity or with bad news, with afflictions, with problems, he is constantly patient. He has patience, sabr, he thanks Allah for what happened to him and he lives his life and seeks rewards and uh, forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whatever happened to us, good or bad, we have to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because things happen to us for a reason. And we have to thank Allah in every situation so that way Allah can become happy with us.